everybody. Good morning. Today we're going to talk about coming to America, specifically Jamestown, and the, uh, the hardships and the changes they faced. Some essential knowledge, this is things you should probably already know, but if you don't, here it is. The English settlers found life in Virginia harder than they expected, and we're, today we're going to talk about those, those hardships and the challenges they faced. So here are the hardships. Uh, the site they chose to live on was marshy and like lacked safe drinking water. Because it was right along the river and next to the ocean, brackish water, not really the best to drink, kind of make you quench up a little bit if you try it. Um, a drought at the time of the settlement reduced the amount of food available to everyone in Virginia. Of course, water is necessary to everything in life, especially if you're trying to grow some food to eat. Um, the settlers lacked skills necessary to provide for themselves. Of course, farming and other survival skills, especially in the new territory, place unfamiliar to them. They are they're not in the flats anymore, out, out in the woods by themselves for the first time, most of them. And then uh, many settlers died of starv starvation and disease. Of course, with the uh, lack of water from the drought, not gonna be a lot of food to go around for those many individuals. So here we got some pictures. This is the Jamestown Fort, so you see it's built in a triangle, that way you're able to have a crossfire at any time. So you've got the brackish water over here you didn't really want to drink, and then over here, if there was any threat by the natives, this is the wall you'd want to defend more than likely. Fact about the starvation here. Starving time at Jamestown in the colony of Virginia was a period of starvation during the winter of 1609-1610, roughly two to three years after they got there. Uh, there was about 500 Jamestown residents at the beginning, and however, <laughs> of course you can't see through here, but I'll read it to you. Uh, there were only 61 people still alive when the spring arrived. That is a staggering 12% of the population made it. I mean, that's, that's, that's insane. So how are you gonna fix your problems? You're gonna have to make some changes. It's the way it is in life. You gotta roll with the changes. So the changes that resulted in survival, you have the arrival of ships bringing supplies and new settlers, and you have the forced work program, the strong leadership of Captain John Smith. Everybody knows John Smith, not the one Pocahontas married, but in, of course the one that the first love and the first one of the Disney adaptation. Uh, the development of new settlements that spread away from the unhealthy environment of Jamestown, moving inland, moving up and down the river where there's actually fresh water for you to drink, not the salty water that you don't want. And then the emphasis on agriculture. Uh, conspiring with the natives, they learned how to uh, use the land better, not strictly growing cash crops such as tobacco that of course you can't really eat, but actually growing corn and other foods like that that are necessary to survival. Here we have a picture of the actual Captain John Smith, not as you can see here, the Disney adaptation. He's a good looking guy either way, I think. As you can see over here, we have the um, implication of the new farming techniques. This right here, this man is getting tobacco, which was the cash crop then. But throughout the land and throughout Jamestown, they would have all kinds of other uh, crops grown. So let's go over some review. So we'll talk about what we learned today. So we'll go, which of the following was not underlined? A hardship faced by the settlers. A, the site they chose to live on was marshy. Uh, B, lack safe drinking water. C, many settlers died from starvation. Or D, they were attacked by the natives upon arrival. And as we went through, we can tell that A, B, and C were all uh, things that can, well, excuse me, were hardships that they faced. So the correct answer would be D, they were not attacked by the natives upon arrival. Next question. Uh, which of the following was, as you see there's no underlined not, a hardship faced by the settlers. We have A, the settlers lacked some skills necessary to provide for themselves. B, the settlers could not find the gold. C, the Spaniards were already there. Or D, the lack of timber. So not D, because as you know, what well, most of you probably live in Virginia, you can learn about this, at, around Jamestown, if you want to go back. There is timber everywhere. I mean, you're right on the woods, I think. Uh, the Spaniards were already there. No, the the Spaniards landed in Florida, St. Augustine, not really near Virginia. If you know a little bit of geography, uh, 
uh, the sailors could not find the gold. Wow, this is a common misconception, especially of the Disney adaptation, that they were only going for gold. The main reason people were looking to go to go west into the New World was for new trading routes with India. So that would leave only one correct answer, which would be A, the settlers lacked some skills necessary to provide for themselves. Last question, uh, what changes did the settlers make uh, to result in their survival? Check all that apply. We'll start with A, the arrival of ships and bringing new supplies and new settlers. That's correct, we'll pick that one. Uh, then we got B, the, uh, the taming of raccoons. <laughs> they uh, did not do that, that's a good, because even today we have not tamed raccoons. That's a little one in there, hopefully get you a little bit of a laugh, because we're supposed to have fun in the class, especially history class. Uh, C, the emphasis, the emphasis of agriculture. Uh, that was very vital, so we're going to pick that one. Uh, fighting with the natives. Of course, fighting with your neighbor is its never really going to end up very well. Get you a little turf war going in the neighborhood. So we will not pick that one. Uh, the developments of new settlements that spread away from the unhealthy environment of Jamestown, which we already talked about, moving away towards the fresh water down the river. That was a uh, change they made that did help in their survival. So on this question, we're going to check A, C, and E as the correct answers. And finally, uh, have you guys write a paragraph about what changes you suggested or you would have made if you were a settler. Um, put yourself in Captain John Smith's shoes. Uh, talk about the... Go back to it. Yeah, the, the forced work program and strong leadership is what he displayed. Uh, think about it amongst yourselves or even like talk in your groups if you'd like. Talk about what you would want to do, what you would have suggested. Uh, I would probably suggest if it was me, talk about conspiring with the natives, getting along with your neighbor. Because as you know, like the Native American, South American history, we've kind of treated them poorly. So I figured like it's kind of a trickle down thing, in my opinion, of what we could have done then. As you recall, Thanksgiving, the first one was about the settlers getting along with the natives. And unfortunately, I don't think they had turkey. Even though I love turkey myself. So the strong work program was a thing you could put. I think what else I would have done other than inspiring with the natives. Uh, definitely learning the land. Uh, probably some doing some cartography. Um, loading up on resources. Even making uh, detailed reports to go back to the king to make sure that he knew what was going on and what we actually needed help with. So that's all I have for you today. Hopefully you learned a little bit and good luck on your essay question.